At Washington headquarters in Morristown, New Jersey, a host of events will be taking place starting today, Independence Day. That's right. So we're here to take us through the list of events. Michael Mullen and Edward Gregory of the Washington Association of New Jersey. We also have President George Washington. What an honor <sighs> on hand this morning. So good to see all three of you. Good, good. Um, Thanks so for having General us. Washington, let's begin with you, right? Because it is Independence Day, 4th of July. What it makes today so special? It is when we gave our final uh, love letter to, to uh, England, but it wasn't a love letter. It was a letter of, uh, of, of separation. Mm. I think it's, it was called the first separation letter. Mm. And uh, to us, uh, we, it was very important. Mm. Thomas Jefferson did a, an, an excellent job and he, uh, he wrote that document, and it was very, very important. Uh, we knew that signing that document, all those 56 Americans pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. Mm. And they knew that they would be in trouble if they ever were caught. Mm. And if they were caught, they would die. Mm. And so many of those patriots, those men who signed that Declaration of Independence knew that that they had to be careful yeah. because mm -hmm. if they did not, it would have been over for them. Yeah. But it was a serious document, very, very serious. Mm -hmm. Nothing else can compare with it. Yeah. How did you end up in New Jersey? Excuse me? How did you end up in New Jersey? Um, it, was, it was a very, very good time. Uh, in New Jersey. Um, we were very victorious. Mm -hmm. uh, the 10 crucial days uh, when we fought at the Battle of Trenton, the second Battle of Trenton and the Battle of Princeton were called the 10 crucial days and Trevelyan in his book stated that it may be doubted whether so small a number of men ever employed so short a space of time with greater or more lasting results upon the history of the world. And it was the truth. Wow. Mm. Uh, New Jersey was uh, exceptional and uh, I felt safe in New Jersey, especially when I was up in the Wachau Mountains. Mm. Yeah, sure. We yes. love New Jersey. You're I, safe in New I, Jersey. I feel safe in New Jersey. <laughs> as, a, as a resident of New Jersey, I certainly feel safe there. Uh, Michael and Edward, so much history obviously goes into a day like today, but you kind of cover these things all year round. What events, though, do you have taking place today? So today, the National Park Service the Marstown location, you know, New Jersey's famous for George Washington slept here, uh, but he slept an awful lot in Marstown. Really? And it became the first national park, historical park. And so today what they do, it's a lot of fun, it's interesting. There's a reading of the Declaration of Independence. And so there are like four or five speakers who will get up and take an entire audience, including children, through the Declaration of Independence. And there are speeches, but it's the kind of the entryway to a weekend coming up of special events at the historical site, mm -hmm. including uh, George's tent hmm. huh. makes an appearance at the site. Uh, they call it, in a very acute way, the first Oval Office. Oh, very yes, there interesting. You go. Ed Edward, what else can we look forward to? Well, you should come visit the Ford Mansion, which became Washington's headquarters. See the museum there. Walk the grounds as we slowly get a sense of uh, what life was like. There's an excellent tour of the mansion, mm -hmm. and I recommend it to everybody. Uh, the museum is quite extensive. It's designed both for children and adults, and very worthwhile, great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Or yeah. July 4th for that. Yeah. Of course. And there's reenactments as well, right? There are reenactors. Okay. And they are part of the party that uh, 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 reads the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're posted all around it, plus in the museum and uh, in the mansion. Why do you think it's so important, though, that families take part in these types of activities? You feel like we've kind of lost touch with where we've come from, really. Yeah, I'll let Ed answer that. He has some very strong feelings <laughs> in that regard. Why is it so important? The establishment of liberty, imperfect though it was at the time, mm -hmm. uh, these brave people who, who uh, 
wrote this letter to England, who staked their lives on it, created the legal system we have in America that has allowed us to adapt through the times from then till now and improve, ever improve, our society uh, based on their uh, belief in freedom. Yeah. And uh, if you come and see how they lived and see the people who lived around them, which are awful, uh, also amply covered in the tour, mm. you'll learn a lot about the way it was and what we became today. Yeah. So it's very important, especially for young people. Yeah. To, and to President Washington, you'll be there today? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, he no. has another event. No, oh today. my gosh, he'll be here. Perth Amboy. Yeah. Yeah. Perth Amboy is, is the town, the whole town <laughs> is very, very patriotic. Yeah. Um, they have a replica of the Liberty Bell. Very nice. And we'll be chiming the Liberty Bell 13 times for the 13 colonies. There you go. We'll be doing the, uh, uh, a ceremony that's, that's very important. The, the citizens of that town mm -hmm. are just fantastic. They love the history of America. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, George, Edward, Michael, thank you so much. And it's about hope. Yes. yes. That you, to answer your question, as Ed did, it's about hope. Yeah. And it's not just what happened, it's what can happen mm -hmm. exactly. in the future. And when George talks about going to Perth Amboy, Perth Amboy is a largely Hispanic town. Mm -hmm. And he says of all the towns he goes to in New Jersey, in many ways, it's the most patriotic. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, gentlemen, for your Thank time you. today. Thank you so much for having yeah, us. Yeah, of course. And happy, happy Independence Day. Thank you. Thanks.